This is Rock and Roll English. Real people, real English. Here's your host, Martin Johnston. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll English. Episode number 117, baby. Oh yeah. In today's episode, I speak to Boom Boom Cannon about birthdays and stuff like that. Um, But I've got some good news and some bad news. What do you want first? Um, I always like to start with the bad news because then you can finish on the good news. So let's do that. The bad news is Boom Boom forgot to switch on his microphone for this podcast. He had the microphone under his mouth. He just forgot to switch it on. Um, That has happened many times in the past as well. Usually I've just deleted it and said, "Okay, I don't want to make the listeners listen to that terrible audio. But that creates about 10 10 times more work for me. Finding the time to meet and speak, preparing the podcast, it all takes time. So as it was Boom Boom Cannon, I thought I'm going to leave it this week, okay, and see how it goes. See how it goes, I mean, in the sense how well you understand, because you're familiar with Boom Boom's voice, aren't you? It will probably be like listening to Corporal Coma for example. Um, He just sounds like he's a little bit underwater. At the beginning, it sounds fucking terrible. But after about a minute or two, it starts to sound a bit more normal. And it's a challenge for you, isn't it? This is always my excuse when there's shit audio on the podcast. When you're in a nightclub, for example, speaking, you're in a pub, someone's talking to you, other people are talking, there's music, you can't hear well. So it's a training exercise for your ears. I'm doing it for you, really. That's not obviously true, but um, it sounds like a good thing to say, doesn't it? Um, The good news is the website is now officially working seven days a week. Unbelievable. Okay, let's have a party. And speaking of the website, obviously all of the rock and roll vocabulary is on the website. So go there, find it, use it, and just generally enjoy the website, really. Enjoy the fact that it finally, finally, finally works. I'm going to stop talking now. Happy listening. Boom Boom Cannon, how are you today? Good, Martin. How are you? Always fantastic, Boom Boom. Always fantastic. Um, So what did you do for Guy Fawkes Night, Bonfire Night, Fireworks Night, whatever you want to call it, last week? Ah, Fireworks Night. Yeah, just spent most of the night getting pissed off at the the fireworks, really. You know, just (laughs) shutting the windows, turning the TV up, putting my headphones on, you know. Really sort of embracing the the fireworks really thing, yeah? really embracing fireworks <laughs> yeah nice also some nice rock and roll vocabulary when you said he uh, when he said he was getting pissed off so that's when you're getting angry um i on the other hand did absolutely nothing although i did have an observation at work um when someone has to come and observe one of my lessons which is always fun uh-huh. just to make sure i'm not talking shit like this during the lessons i think I, but, I, I thought when you said you had an observation at work you just saw something at work like you had <laughs> another, i thought it was you were just trying to kind of uh, come up with yeah. some fancy terminology for seeing something <laughs> Yeah. I observed a student writing. Yes, that's exactly that's what I did. An observation. I just observed that. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely counts as an observation, yeah. Different type of observation, but you know. How, how, um, how did this observation go? Oh, f- fantastic boom boom of course Easy. of course you know sure. best teacher in the world uh, they don't call me the best teacher in the world for nothing who is okay. it that call- who, who is it that calls you that again just re- just remind me i mean I'm, lots of people i'm sure i can't think of any <laughs> anyone at the moment no names come to mind but you know i'm sure there are lots of people sure. in fact yeah. mrs rock and roll english her sister once got me a mug like a um coffee mug that said best teacher in the world Okay. Well, there you go. It's There's official. One. Didn't have my name on it though, so you know maybe that could just be for anyone. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say next year. Get me that with my name on. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, boom boom. How do we usually start the show? Well, usually always. We start with a review. Do you think we have a review? Yes. Incorrect. Oh. We don't. Okay. So this is a direct request to people to please leave a review and please send me it because as i always say i often don't see them or don't look for them one of the two but the fact of the matter is i don't see them okay that's that's the important thing isn't it boom boom 
it is important that you that you see that that does help doesn't it, <laughs> it does definitely help. helps definitely yeah. helps yeah we we've had a review from your mum so maybe if we get desperate then i can ask my mum to uh, to leave one yeah um, that would that would be great i noticed you got a few extra birthday messages on your facebook this year because your mum and dad are on facebook <laughs> yeah that's one of the one of the bonuses of having your parents on facebook um, <laughs> of, of many one of the many bonuses <laughs> Sure. Um, And birthdays actually is something very relevant to today's podcast because that's exactly what we're talking about, Boom Boom. Nice. Because, you know, October, November are big months for me and you, aren't they? They are. We we often have that fascinating debate as to which is the best month, don't we? (laughs) That's the type of interesting stuff that me and Boom Boom talk about, which is the best month to have your birthday. I still say November, but, you know, whatever. Um, Yours is obviously the 21st of October, Boom Boom. When's mine? 13th of November. Oh. You got it. I didn't expect you to get yeah. that. I thought you would at least have a little bit of difficulty. I'm not I'm not great at remembering birthdays, but I think because ours are, I almost feel like they're sort of, um, you know, they're, they're challenging each other, you know, they're in competition. <laughs> so, uh, so I make a point yeah. of remembering. Sure, that's great. And yeah. um, which is actually tomorrow as well for when this podcast comes out, just for people to know. Okay, I didn't want to mention it, but, you know, it's come up <laughs> naturally in conversation. There so. you go. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for tomorrow though, Boom Boom. Apparently, it's bad luck tomorrow. to do that. Really, to do that in um, in advance. Yeah. So, please, if you take that back, that's, that's, maybe that's I'll just cut that back. out. I'll just cut that bit out. Have a shit birthday. Is that is that better? <laughs> Much better. Um, so, we're going to be talking about birthday parties, birthdays in general, kids' parties, and stuff like this. Um, so. Often parties have food, don't they? Party food, as mm-hmm. we call it. What are your thoughts on that, Boom Boom? You like a bit of party food? Party food, yeah, I, I like a buffet. Oh, uh, so, oh, I fucking hate it. Party food, it normally has like these mini sausage rolls, which I don't know if they're sort of common around the world. It's just basically rolls, kind of, with sausages inside. Even cocktail sausages, which are like basically mini cold sausages. They're fucking disgusting. Yeah, no, I, I like I like a buffet because it's it's kind of take your pick, isn't it? Take what you like. If you don't like the cocktail sausages, then, then don't take some. Take something else. Well, if it's all shit, boom boom. What am I supposed to do then? <laughs> which is usually the case. It's usually all shit. There's the little cocktail sausages, as I said, which I'm never a fan of. I prefer big sausages, boom boom. Okay, mm. size matters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you tend not to get large sausages in your, in your in your classic buffet, do you? Exactly. Or you get a pizza that's been there for about five days. Fucking disgusting. You're like, oh, when you eat it, it's like eating fucking plastic. I think I've just I've just been to better buffets than you, by the sounds of it. <laughs> We've been to a lot of them t- together as well. I think probably have, probably have, but. Uh... Yeah, no, party foods, yeah, it's good. You know, the, the crisps that everyone's hand has, has popped in already, sure. There's, exactly. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Especially at a kid's party, they're all just like licking their hands, pissing on their hands, eating the crisps. Yeah, up or the, the, the classic sort of double dip into the, uh, you know, take take a bite of something and then you see someone putting that back into the dip. That's just been in your mouth. Yeah, um, exactly. The dip is like the sort of sauce that you can put on a crisp, for example. Um, and presents, obviously, that's the good part, isn't it? So you obviously get presents when it's your birthday. Um, some people as well just give you cards, which, you know, is fine as long as there's money in there. There's nothing worse than for your birthday, especially when you were a kid. Someone gives you a card and you open it and there's no money in there. And you're like, well, what the fuck is the point of this? Yeah, I, mean, I I do think, you know, as I've, I've just turned 34, you're turning 34. We're still probably, younger than you, Boom Boom. Probably, right? still... <laughs> probably at the stage where we shouldn't necessarily expect like, money in our cards. But Well, yeah. well speak for yourself, Boom Boom, okay? <laughs> I, if you get me a card, I want some money in there, okay? If there's no, no money in there, just fucking forget about it, okay? It's a waste of your time and it's a waste of my time. Luckily enough, I haven't sent you a card, so... <laughs> Not something I have to worry about. Well, that, that's good. That's a weight off my mind. Some lovely rock and roll vocabulary there. A weight off my mind. Something for me not to worry about. Um, how many cards do you get these days for your birthday, Boom Boom? Well, 
I still have mine on my shelf. <laughs> okay, sure. The classic, keep them on the shelf. How long do you keep them on the shelf for, though? That's the yeah, thing. Week, as I was, two weeks, three weeks? As I was saying that, I was looking at the date thinking, I've I've left them up too long. I, I was thinking the same, Boom Boom. It was like more than 10 days ago now. Okay, stop trying to live off past glories. Yeah, yeah, definitely time I took them down. But I'm, I'm looking at the, at the shelf. I have three. <laughs> Uh, it's not the best, but it's yeah, better I than mean, two, isn't it? So it's better than two, exactly, and better than mm. one. I mean, mm. I'm with you on that one, Pooh. That's my kind of average as well. I think I'll even get less this year because I didn't get my brother one, um, and he specifically said to me, "You didn't get me a present or a card, so I'm not getting you one." I was like, "It's fair not a competition. It's not yeah. a competition." Okay, if I jumped off a bridge, would you? No. So therefore, you should get me a card, you fucking bastard. <laughs> um, and then there were obviously the presents as well. Um, always embarrassing when you have to open it in front of the person that gets it for you, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. That's can just be quite a kind of awkward. Uh, yeah, there's just something about it. It just makes you feel oh, a bit I, awkward. I it? absolutely yeah. hate it. If someone gives me a present, I'll just like try and say okay I'll, I'll open it when i get home and they say oh no no open it now oh, yeah. like, oh, okay okay great what is it a wash bag okay some deodorant and some shower gel i've always wanted this my whole life i've really wanted this deodorant thank you so much <laughs> yeah there's nothing you can whatever it is you have to just yeah i love it oh it's, it's amazing it's amazing um obviously I like to try and put some thought into presents when I do them, which is about 50% of the time. Either I'll get you a brilliant present or nothing. With you, Boom Boom, it's always nothing. But it's without... <laughs> always the same, always nothing. Yeah. Um... Consistent, okay? Other people, like my brother, 50% of the time I get him a brilliant present, 50% of the time I, I get him nothing. But it's still better than a wash bag. If you buy someone a wash bag, you're basically saying... I can't be bothered to think about this. So I can't be bothered. I haven't got the energy. So I'm just buying your wash bag. Um, we went to a party a few years ago, didn't we, Boom Boom, of the daughter of one of our friends. So we obviously all had to buy presents. And you got her a lovely present, didn't you, Boom Boom? So a little girl, she was two years old. And um, Boom Boom got her, he said it was a teddy bear. But in reality, it was a draft excluder. So a dra the draft is like when you stand near a door, sometimes a bit of wind comes in from outside. So you need something to stop that, to exclude the draft. And that's what he got for a two-year-old girl. Very useful. She hated drafts. <laughs> she, 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 she absolutely hated drafts uh, at that time. Um, no, I maintain that was a, it was a perfectly good present. Um, I can tell you what it was. It was... It was uh, yeah, soft toy. It was a dog. Um, <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> because obviously dogs are great. But it was a sausage dog. <laughs> a cocktail sausage dog. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was actually a long one. It was so long it covered exactly. the whole door. A long, a long sausage dog, which obviously has a similar shape to a draft excluder. <laughs> this can be used as two things. She can cuddle it in bed or she can stop the draft coming into her room. Yeah. Exactly. But I, I still think I, I did better than one of our friends, uh, Mark, who I think was the only one who hadn't turned up with a present to this party and then proceeded to sort of buy something on the Internet via his phone at the party and sort of showed that to the two year old. <laughs> showed her an Amazon yeah. email that you get. Your order has been confirmed from Amazon yeah. and just showing it to a two year old girl. Which, Look, which I've just loved. ordered you something yeah. off Amazon. Okay, it'll should, be with you, you in a week. Yeah, exactly. Seven to 14 days. So yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to pay for the next day delivery. Okay, it was too expensive. So it'll be with you in about a week. Okay. Seven working days, though, so... <laughs> exactly. Um, speaking of kids' parties, um, obviously, they often have an entertainer there. Um, mm. Having gone to, like, my niece's parties in the last few years, I always find it a bit strange seeing, like, a fully grown adult. So, fully grown there. We use that just to say complete, let's say, a normal adult. Um driving to work essentially to someone's house like dressed up as like a chicken i sort of think you know if you're 
if you're an adult and you're driving to work as a chicken, you've yeah. got to be asking yourself some questions. Put the outfit on <laughs> when you when you get to the venue. I'd say. Exactly. Don't would, would drive to advice. work <laughs> dressed as a chicken or a Disney character. Um, yeah, I was going to say, is chicken a, a common <laughs> one? I feel like you've just you've made that up there. Really, I don't. <laughs> I don't some kids like chickens, Boom Boom. Okay, kids like draft excluders, chickens, and Disney characters. Disney characters probably more common. Yeah. But let's not let's not forget about the chickens. No, the chickens. Okay. okay. Also um, funny. The best thing as well when you were a child was a bouncy castle. So a bouncy castle is like the soft thing that you can jump on. Very common in England. They go in the garden. Usually starts raining and then it's a fucking nightmare, but the kids still jump around on it. Oh, um, yeah. I love a bouncy castle. Exactly. I, I still love a bouncy well, castle now. It's yeah. exactly it. Last year, I think it was, we had a family party um, and there was a bouncy castle there for all the children. They were having a great time and it it was difficult to resist the temptation just to get there and get stuck in. So to get stuck in is to sort of join in with them and join in the fun. It was really difficult. I think that's almost impossible to resist. <laughs> uh, you should probably, probably sort of clear the children out of the way yeah. first, maybe. And but Obviously, being an adult now, going to like children's parties generally involves getting shit-faced. So I remember mm. shit-faced is when you get drunk. And you don't want to be mixing alcohol with a bouncy castle okay and, as, and children and children yeah. yeah as we always say boom boom health and safety number one priority um and then at the end though when the bouncy castle gets deflated so when they take the air out of it and you just see it on the floor you just think oh fuck the party's over now isn't it it's the end yeah when it, that's it yeah sad kind of sim- symbolic isn't it almost a deflated is, bouncy is, castle, yeah. Is, exactly. Nothing worse than just seeing that fucking bouncy castle go. Um, the important thing as well, as you know, Boom Boom, I'm very big on this, is when to celebrate your birthday, okay? Because for me, your birthday is your birthday, okay? Maybe the weekend closest at a push, okay? But I'm not going to mention her name. I used to know someone that had about five birthdays. She had... The birthday with her family, with her friends from home, friends from university and friends from work. I actually remember when she went out with um, her friends from work about a month later, someone didn't go and she said, I can't believe she's not coming to my birthday. I was like, it was your birthday a month ago. (laughs) Did did you get invited to any, any of these five? I went to a few and then I think I was just like, look, I'm not coming anymore. I've been to enough of your birthdays. I've been to three. That's where I, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Lovely rock and roll vocabulary where you draw the line when you have to say enough's enough. Okay, I can't go to any more of your fucking birthday parties. I can't be buying you a present for everyone, that's for sure. Um, anyway, Boom Boom, let's talk a bit about us now. What's been your worst birthday? I would ask your best birthday, mm. but, you know, I, I'm not that interested in what's been your best birthday. Much more okay. interested in the shit things that have happened to you, so I can laugh at you, basically. Focus focus on the worst. Sure. Um, good question. I, I remember one from, I think, when I was about, yeah, I would have been 12, mm-hmm. I think. 11 or, yeah, 12. I, basically, hardly anyone turned up. Um, <laughs> so when he says no, um, hardly anyone turned up, he means almost no one came to the party. Um, I was just thinking, though, boom, boom, I knew you when you were 12 and I don't remember getting an invite to that party you, you didn't get an invite you didn't get an invite the thing was this was this was a we, we just started secondary school I don't think we'd really uh connected hadn't really yet. hit it off so when you hit it off with someone you sort of make a friendship you get on well with them yeah well if you had invited me boom boom everyone would have come okay well, some this, third conditional this... there this is where I went wrong. I mean, obviously, we we started, I think, in September. My birthday is only, you know, a month later. It's a difficult, you know, it's a difficult time. You haven't really kind of uh, made enough, you know, networked enough yet at that point. And uh, I invited a few of the new sort of people I thought I'd become friends with in that in that month or so um, to to bowling. Invite them to bowling. Oh, a great day, great, great activity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bowling. You know, <laughs> burger, coke, bowling. You know, what's not to like? Um, they didn't turn up so so that was a shame did they let you do the extra bowling got some bowling practice because you'd paid for all the other people i I can't remember actually i don't know if my if my mum was maybe 
just you know managed not to pay for them or if i was just too too busy sort of crying in the corner to <laughs> to bowl um, i almost actually feel a bit sorry for you there boo boo that's yeah. how bad that one is yeah you've sort of brought the mood down a bit now i was yeah, expecting well, like a funny story sorry, mate. now you're if telling you... me like when you sort of cried on your birthday fucking hell it's supposed to be a fun <sighs> podcast okay and if you you know you ask me about worst birthdays you know it's gonna get depressing <laughs> Boom Boom's got a lot of depressing stories he could share with us. Yeah. Uh, okay, Boom, let's yeah. change it then. What about your best birthday? Best, best. Well, you know, obviously, uh, Mrs. Boom Boom listens to this. So um, she she whisked me away to, to Paris a few years ago. So Oh, lovely uh, rock and roll vocabulary. She whisked me away. She took me away to Paris. Oh, how romantic, Boom Boom. It was. It was very romantic. By the Eiffel Tower, yeah. glass of oh. wine. Eating some snails. <laughs> oh, yeah. El Vino did flow. No snails. No snails. But, no snails. Uh, Shame. No. How about you? Best best and worst? Um, worst, I think they've all been pretty shit. I can't remember anything particularly great. Uh, but although, actually, that's a lie. I do remember once. When I was at university, I won a pub quiz, not by myself, in a team. I believe Clarification Charlie was on my team, actually. Um, the only reason we won though was because there was a football round which you know good smash that so smash that did really well in that and an eastenders round so eastenders was well is a television program in england quite a shit one but i was quite a big fan of that so smashed it boom boom yeah in fact i actually remember from my 21st birthday when when you and some of the other other lads came came to my place and uh having sort of some some drinks before we hit the town and uh Everyone wanted to watch EastEnders, which... Um, <laughs> There's nothing more rock and roll than EastEnders, Boo Boo, okay? When I look back, it's just I find hard to believe, but it happened. Yeah, just so everyone knows, it is a really shit television show. But, you know, yeah. it was more interesting than your birthday, Boo Boo, <laughs> that's for sure, okay? I mean, when I say everyone wants to watch it, it was mainly you and Corporal Coma. So, big EastEnders fans. Big EastEnders fans, yeah. Um, speaking of quizzes, though, Boo Boo... Um, when I was thinking about this, I remember a quiz that um, you and I went to once. Do you remember this? Went to the quiz and then you decided to bring along loads of snacks, loads of paper and pens for everyone. It was so useful. We all go in there thinking it's going to be great, get pissed up. So to get pissed up is to drink loads. Boom Boom's coming along thinking, oh, it's so great. Like we can study. So he actually brought us some uh, some paper and some pens and a few little snacks, didn't you, Boom Boom? <laughs> You don't, uh, you'll keep energy levels up if you want to win a quiz. Uh, snacks, snacks help. Uh, and making notes helps. I've got my notes right here, actually, for this, this podcast. So <laughs> Always helps. Uh, haven't changed. Obviously, it was a quiz, and generally they do provide you with a pen and paper, but Boom Boom was like, I don't know if there will be a pen and paper. Let's bring our own materials, Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think what actually happened is my mum had put them in a bag and I had the bag and I didn't realise she had sort of prepared me. I don't know if that makes this story any better or worse, to be honest. I think it's made it worse, actually. Now that yeah, I'm not now it. listening to this thing. Oh, OK, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. It, either way, it was fantastic, wasn't it? Boom, boom. It was. It was. Yeah. Good night. Exactly. Good night indeed. I think it finished with us all getting quite drunk after about three beers because we we're only like 16, 17. And instead of answering the quiz, just drawing penises on the quiz papers. So, you know, it was a great night. The pens that I brought came in handy, didn't they? For, <laughs> for the for penis drawing. drawing. Penises, yeah. Everyone had a pen to draw their own penis. So it was really useful. Thanks, Boom Boom. <laughs> penises all round. Exactly. Anyway, thanks a lot for your time, Boom Boom. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I'll see you soon. Okay, so that was me and Boom Boom Cannon speaking about birthdays and stuff like that. I hope you managed to understand even one thing that Boom Boom said. If you did, congratulations, because it's not difficult. As I said, it sounded like he was speaking underwater. But I'm telling you now, it won't be like that next week, okay? Um, anyway, let's look at some of that rock and roll vocabulary. When I found out Boom Boom hadn't got me a card, I said, that's a weight off my mind. If something's a weight off your mind, it's that moment when you're not stressed anymore. It's like, oh, yes, that's a weight off my mind. Um, we also had the term, I can't be bothered, when I said I can't be bothered to think about what to get you. 
if you can't be bothered to do something you don't want to do it you haven't got the energy to do it it's oh i can't be bothered um we had the term draft excluder when i said that boom boom bought a draft excluder for a two-year-old the main word here i want to focus on is draft and um, when you've got the windows and it's very windy and cold outside and you stand near the window and you get that little bit of wind what's the name of that draft baby we also had the term a fully grown adult i don't know why we say this fully grown um but sometimes we do basically only for fully grown adult and fully grown beard um beard hair on your face don't use it for anything else really because then you might make a mistake use things in context baby and we also had the term bouncy castle that's the thing children like to jump up and down on it's like a castle it's not a real castle it goes in people's gardens so obviously you can't have a real castle in your garden um when boom boom was telling us about that story um about no one coming to his birthday party he said hardly anyone turned up so two bits of rock and roll vocabulary there hardly anyone almost no one um turned up came simple as that baby um he was then explaining why he didn't invite me to that party when he was 12 and he said oh because we had only just started school when we were 11 in september i was 12 in october and i said yeah we hadn't really hit it off so if you hit it off with someone you immediately have a great relationship with them maybe you meet someone on a night out you hit it off you exchange numbers you call each other and that person becomes your bff best friend forever um boom boom also said that mrs boom boom whisked him away to paris a few years ago if you whisk someone away you take them away take them on holiday often a surprise to say i'm whisking you away to paris how romantic um when i was telling boom boom about the pub quiz i won i said it was because there was a football round and i smashed that if you smash something you do it very well baby um and the last one was when i said it's going to be great we're going to get pissed up if you get pissed up that's when you get drunk together anyway that's all of the rock and roll vocabulary remember it is on the website the website is working I'll see you next week with good audio. In the meantime, though, just keep on rocking. Thanks so much for listening to Rock and Roll English. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit rockandrollenglish.com and facebook.com slash rockandrollenglish. We'll catch you next time.